Ron, welcome great. to the startup fan. Yeah, great. Thanks yeah. for having me. Oh, thanks Last for coming time in. I met you was in Ronan, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. yeah. Really? Hey, fun. Did you guys do well there? Yeah, we we had a really good week, but the only problem was everything was too short. You see, yeah. there was one camera thing, and we just wanted to get you back in and, and we had have no a camera chat. Band I know, I love this van. Band. It's a classic. Yeah. We've, got, we've got the nice cushions, we've got the cool light. Yeah. Yeah. Everything looks you, well. You, so. need a, you need a cot back here and you're all set. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's know? exactly it. So, Ron, tell us a bit about the platform and what you're developing and why you started it. Great. So, <coughs> yeah, we, we developed this artist development. It's called an artist development platform. It's mm. really for A&R um, in the music and entertainment space, right? So yep. we launched it with country music first mm -hmm. and we launched it with putting artists uh, on to the platform and then they would invite their fans to come in and then there's a bunch of engagement that goes on in between uh, the time we allow um, artists to register and by the time we start our challenges yeah. and the challenges are, are what make up this platform and the challenges allow these artists to be able to come in and compete with one another mm -hmm. you know and and you'll see quickly how many of these artists get pushed up to the top who are serious about the business right this platform is a serious platform. It, yeah. it wants serious artists to come in. It allows those artists to be able to separate themselves from other artists who are really not serious about really becoming in this business or not. You're, you're actually working with some big artists at the moment, aren't we you? We are. Nelly um, is just joined our board. Okay. And Nelly is the. How did you get Nelly on board? Well, uh, you know, Nelly's big into education, and yeah. he's got a, um, a four-year degree program in St. Louis. Oh wow! You know where he's okay. from, and so he's. He's big into education. He's, he wants to see artists develop themselves outside of rap, yeah. mm. right? And if you know what Ellie's, Nelly's been doing, he's been, you know, into country music now. He's uh, touring this summer with Florida Georgia Line. How come you didn't bring him uh, with you? Get him the yeah, I know. I should have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you didn't. You could have. Yeah, I think he's oh, in. No. I, I think he's in Vegas right now. But I will fly him yeah. over. <laughs> we'll drive to Vegas. Yeah, we, exactly. We have a number of Daryl. Um, we have Daryl McDaniel's. We've got Dwayne Wiggins. Our mentors, uh, Daryl Simmons, is heading up our mentor program, and you know Daryl was one of the three guys with uh, uh, with L.A. Reid and with uh, Babyface mm. to create LaFace Records and built um, TLC and one group after another. And he's uh, been very active with us. Yeah, he lives here in Atlanta, and he's heading up our mentor program. So yeah, we're we've got a lot of really strong mentor talent, judges, we've got some major artists and and uh, people in the industry as judges. Um, who just joined us also was, um, that's actually is, I messed that one up. Can you guys edit this, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, who, who recently just joined us is uh, a gentleman at Maverick Management, which is one of the biggest artist management companies out there, and it's um, Julius Irving, so they call him Jay Irving, and it's okay. Dr. Irving's son. Mm -hmm. He was co-president at Adam Factory, along with uh, Troy Carter, and is, is, is actually Nelly's uh, day to day and day out manager. Oh, wow. And now he also manages a number of others. And so he's you actually showed us the platform before. It's yeah. really cool. The layout. Are you, or did you design it yourself? We did. Um, yeah. I, you know, there's a vision behind this, and mm. it's taken a, it's taken quite a while to put this mm. together. I think one of the key uh, factors that we have within our, uh, do that one too. Can yeah. I, yeah, yeah, this yeah. One? yeah. Okay, one of the key features built into this platform is called the spin score. Okay. So that spin score enables us to be able to place value onto an artist and allows the artist to be ranked. So okay. it sets up a, a ranking system. Mm. And so technology has so changed the music industry. T and so what happens with this is it's uh, ranked on three factors. You know, yeah. Social factors, it's all the social activity that an artist has outside of the platform itself. There's points that are given on, on uh, social activity. Yeah. Mm -hmm and provides a score. The second part of this is engagement and how much does a, uh, an artist engage with their fans. So okay. it's every interaction an artist has with a fan is weighted, right? And that provides a score. And then the third aspect of this is performance. It really is to better understand how that artist can connect with its audience um, in a performance setting, yeah. right? And so we measure sentiment data. We take sentiment and we, it's plus or minus, right? Yeah. We also take keywords. We take a look at those keywords as it's based in a post on what those keywords mean in sentence structures. So okay. it's, the, it's the, not only is it positive or negative, but it's the meaning of why or why not um, that artist is connecting with their audience or not. Very right? cool. So this all does this real time. Mm. So it, it's, it's really unique for this industry. Yeah. And we'll see um, so where it goes. And you're rewarding the artist for putting in the effort is basically is basically what it is. Yeah. Isn't it? Like you're just Oh we are. Yeah. Yeah, all along the way. I mean so we have a series of challenges that are skill based mm. challenges from, you know, songwriting, writing jingles, which most of these artists have never done. 
right? They have to write a 30-second jingle. They have to they have to write a hometown anthem. So they have to come up with their original um, hometown anthem. They have to do a Facebook Live performance. And some pretty good jingles coming in so far. Uh, well, we actually will start that jingle probably with Urban. We're going to start oh, okay, it okay. here in the second challenge, and we'll right. have the top uh, 75 artists in the country will be competing um, in that challenge. Wow. So. How broken is the music industry at the minute? Well, it's not really broken. Mm. It's just, it, it's in change. And it's been in change because of technology. Yeah. Right? I think when, when the record labels really controlled everything, and okay. now you've got streaming services, you know, you've got SoundCloud out there, you've got Spotify, yeah. Yeah. you've got Apple Music, mm. YouTube, you know, you've got all these different places now that can stream and, get, and pay artists for uh, for their music, so the record labels are competing in a whole different level today. In, in a way that they kind of should be, because they had the monopoly where they could just do what they wanted. Yeah, that's sure. The thing. I, I think if you look at the three factors of that, you've got the record label itself. Yeah. So you've got the label, you've got publishing, which is the songwriting side of this, right? Yeah. And then the third aspect is the agents, the booking agents. Mm. So you've got three different um, um, aspects to this. And if you're an artist, uh, you know it's tough because yeah. you try to do it on your own. You need the distribution or you're not going to get anywhere, right? You need that promotion, or you won't get played on the radio stations. Yeah. And still, the radio stations are tough they're to going get through. Into. Mm -hmm. They are tough to get into, and it's a, t it's a tough business overall. Yeah. Yeah. You think you yeah. don't need the radio stations, but you know they're still very prevalent today. We had a conversation, myself and Graham, about it as well. And even what we're doing now, if we tried to do this five, ten years ago, it would be a completely yeah, different ball game. Yeah. The, oh, yeah. The, money, the money that you would need to do this or to yeah. live stream seven years ago, would be would be crazy. Yeah. And it's oh, just great it what is. people can do now. It's like to chance the rapper yeah. not even signed to a record label. The success he's had is, is incredible. Uh, exactly. I think that is a key piece of this, right? And I think but the difference now is with A and R, you know, if you don't have an audience and if you're not yeah. attracting that audience mm -hmm. online and in live performance, forget getting picked up. Yeah. Right? So that's the difference. Before you could go out and they could find you in a club somewhere. Mm -hmm. You yeah. may have a, a small audience in your local market but they knew you had talent, and then okay. they would pay to develop you, right? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. And that's why this platform becomes really critical, because it allows us to de develop these artists and then yeah. develop themselves over a period of time. And you'll see the separation of artists that are really good compared to artists yeah. that are not so good. And if you want to be there, you better, you better get up to this level here. Right? Ron, we don't let anyone get out of this van without giving one bit of advice, right? You've worked with some pretty, or some pretty big people, like yeah. Nelly. Mm. What advice would you give to anyone that, like, how did you go about even reaching out to Nelly? Mm. Like, what way did it work? And what advice would you give to someone who's trying to reach out to someone at a high level? Mm. Sure. I, I think you have to, today, you have to be very creative in how you reach out to yeah. um, artists. Can't not, be just an email. <laughs> it can't be an email. Yeah. You know, I think that even a, a telephone call is not going to get there. No. I think you have to be creative. You know what I find? that I, I, I reach out to them on Twitter, mm -hmm. or I reach out to them on Facebook, yeah. or you know Instagram, and you, you write the right type of message to them, yeah, of course. and you, you can get their response. I, I found that to be very successful. I, and actually, that's how I reach out to artists. Yeah. I go to do a lot of research on these artists and trying to find them in all different places, right? Mm. Yeah. And you reach out to them on the social networks, and I think that that's a good way to, to reach them today. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think, Artists hustle, hustle in, basically. It, you, like in anything, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. I, of course. I, I believe truly that this business is it's a, it's a tough business. It's a lot of hard work, but if you're willing to put it in, you will get there. It's okay. a lot of sacrifice, but you're going to get I mean, if you're truly talented, yeah. you have to want it, you'll get there. Ron, thanks so, so much thank for Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah, thank appreciate it, so. Ron. Yeah. Thank thanks you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>